Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's World. Today I want to talk about this. This is the Uniden SDS100 digital scanner and I will be honest with you up front, I am not a scanner expert so I can't tell you if it's the best scanner on the market. What I will tell you is, is I do use scanners. I'm probably an intermediate user and for me, this was the best scanner that, or is the best scanner that I have ever used. And so with the digital quality, um, you don't, this thing performs better than any other scanner I've ever tried to use. I use scanners quite a bit with my job. And the greatest thing about this too is how easy it is to program. Uh, there is software where you can make custom lists and things like that. But if you're just a novice or a beginner, the hardest thing with scanners is usually getting them programmed. And this is very, very simple because there's a little button on here that says zip services. And all that is, is you can literally press that button and put in your zip code and it will automatically pull up and scan everything within your area. So if you travel a lot, that's a very easy way to do it. If you're a little bit more advanced user or you need, um, and you're constantly on the road and you need a scanner, there is an optional GPS unit that you can buy and attach to this thing. And then as you're traveling, it records your location. It knows where you're at and it constantly changes and picks up the frequencies of the agencies around where you are. So it's real time tracking. You don't have to do uh, put in anything. Now, what I did was at one point I um, I was traveling and, and I can't say where I was going, but as I was going, I would look on my phone, the maps, get the zip code, and I would punch in new zip codes and I would hear everything that was going on in that area. So, you know, that is one of the benefits to having one of these. Uh, Uniden also has its home patrol database, which is within this. Inside this, in the back, underneath the battery, is, an, is a micro SD card. And that is all, that is programmed with the full database nationwide. And so all you have to do, there's software you can download and you plug your scanner into your computer and you can make custom lists for agencies in your area. As many as you want, you can select which lists it wants to scan. You can turn off lists. You can decide if you want to listen to airports, fire, police, and uh, military, uh, schools, businesses, and you can select to turn on or off whichever kinds of agencies you want to listen to. It's really, really cool. Uh, there's so much more this thing can do that I just am, I'm not familiar enough. I'm not um, a scanner junkie, so I don't know everything that this does. Um, has a belt clip here on the back, so you can put it on your belt, but this also pops off, and it has this little this little thing right here where you can buy uh, for a couple bucks, they stick on your dash and then you can just clip this on your dash on your truck or in your car and you could have it mobile. Um, the one thing is you'll notice this antenna here. This antenna uh, is not the stock antenna. The stock antenna that comes with this is not the greatest. So you have to pick up one of these aftermarket antennas. This actual one I've had for over 20 years. I got it from Radio Shack. Radio Shack doesn't exist anymore, but you can buy one on Amazon that is almost an exact copy of this. It works really well. My dad bought uh, one of these scanners. I've had this one for about eight months. He bought one of them. Uh, wasn't picking up that great in his garage. I told him go get the, the, the different antenna and it works great for him now. So um, it's just really good. It's got a color um, display which you can change the colors and everything. That's really cool because a lot of scanners, it's just kind of black and white or you don't have that option. So there's a lot on here you can hold, you can record, you can, you can actually record all of the scanner traffic. It also has, if you're not recording, it has a replay option, you, which you can set up to three minutes. And that's really cool because I have mine set at about a minute, but I'm listening, I'm listening, and I hear something I didn't, I didn't get the address. I'm not sure where it's at. You just hit the replay button and it'll go back and for the last two to three minutes or however long you have it set, you can scan through and all, and it doesn't record the dead time, like the dead air time. It only records transmissions. So you don't have to listen through, uh, listen to nothing for three, for two minutes to get to the one you want. It'll play. You just click here to go along to the next one and you can hear what you missed. So very, very cool with this thing. Um, the battery life, Full charge, it runs on battery for about eight hours. That is the best that I've gotten out of it. Uh, it does kind of take a while to charge, but the great thing is 
There are two USB ports here and one of them is for charging. It's the same cable you would use to plug this into a laptop to program it. And you can actually charge it while it's plugged in. So if I'm sitting there beside my computer or whatever, or I have an outlet, I can plug it in and run off power. Now there, there is a setting within this that you have to go to to turn on uh, that function where it charges while it's on. Because by default it comes turned off. Now you do also have the option with this, when you buy one of these, you have the option of paying unit in and an extra fee to have it pre-programmed for you, for your county, your area, things like that. If you don't feel comfortable going online, downloading the software and programming this yourself, then that's probably a useful service. But the programming software I found to be extremely easy with this thing. Um, it's literally, you plug it in, load it, load the full database and you kind of copy and paste to the list that you make. Um, I'm not going to go over all that. There are other videos on YouTube that you can search on how to program an SDS 100, but it, it's pretty simple. I mean, I learned to program mine from watching another YouTube video. So it was very, very simple. Um, but overall, you know, now I, I will say this, um, more and more police agencies and fire and, and other agencies, government agencies, are encrypting their signals. This cannot decrypt, okay? So if your agency, your police department, your area is encrypted, you're not going to hear it on here. Even if you had it programmed in here, you won't hear it. And unfortunately, more and more agencies across the country are going encrypted to the point where at some point, we will, they'll probably all be encrypted. Unless there's some kind of a lawsuit and the Supreme Court rules differently, at some point, almost everything's going to be encrypted. This is not brand new. These have been on the market for a little while, so I'm not showing you anything that's brand new, but I am just giving you my feedback on my experience with it is I love this thing. I, I really do. Um, it's great, and at least in my area, I can still pick up almost everything. A few agencies recently have encrypted, so you know there's that, and some police departments will stay unencrypted so you can hear it, but if they hit on something that's significant, though they can flip the switch to encryption and then you don't hear anything. So that that's kind of the drawback to buying and having a scanner. And so when you buy something like that, this, you have to keep that in mind. However, I just would say that um, if you have a need to listen to airport traffic, police, fire, things like that, um, this, if you need a scanner and you need to listen, this is the one, in my opinion, you need to pick up. So I'm, you know, that's the best I can say. I have a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. Uh, you can also find them on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash Mike's World. And you can pick one of these up if you need it. And full disclosure, uh, now I, I did not, uh, this was not provided to me, okay? Paid for it. But just so you know, if you do buy through the link or on my Amazon shop, I do get a small commission off sales there. So, uh, but I'm not trying to push you to buy one of these for that reason. I just wanted to give an update on this because um, this thing is phenomenal. So if you need a scanner, please go pick one of these up. Hey guys, I hope you found this informative and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, like the video and leave a comment and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.